education lesson. Get that 5W30 out, put 2050 in, and get it running properly. Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be picking up with a small job on the Capri. Uh, now you may remember from a couple of episodes back uh, when I discovered a small oil leak coming from the engine. Managed to get the issue fixed fairly straightforwardly without any problems. Whilst I was under the car though, I did an oil filter and an oil change. Now, since I posted that video, I've had a number of comments uh, and people getting in touch with me to let me know that the oil that I'd actually put into the 2A engine was of the wrong grade. So this was the oil in question that I put in. So if you can see on the label there, it says that the grade is 5W30. Now, people have said to me that the oil uh, in this container is too thin. It's not the right grade. Now, interesting that that's what people have been saying because... I'd actually gone onto a couple of forums prior to doing that change uh, and I'd seen that there were a, a couple of them that had said that 5W30 was, was suitable for that 2A engine. But in hindsight, looking, uh, looking back, something that I probably should have done in the first place was check my Haynes manual because as you can see on page 17, under the recommended lubricants and fluids section it quite clearly says on there that the oil grade that I required was 20W50. The comments that were being passed on to us were saying exactly the same thing. 20W50 was the oil that was needed. People were saying get that 5W30 out, put 2050 in and get it, uh, and get it running properly. So number of people recommending me different brands, uh, the various uh, different types that people were saying, there were Valvoline, Castrol, um, but there was also somebody that recommended this one, and this is the one that I've plumped for, this is the one that I purchased, so this is Comet Classic Motor Oil, so as you can see on the grade there, it's 20W50, the one that I'm needing. And this engine oil is specifically designed for classic cars and older engines. So this is what we're going to be putting into the car today. So what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to decant the uh, 5W30 oil that's currently in the car, get that bottled up, get this 2050 put in, um, and then that should hopefully get the Capri all nice and sorted and ready for car shows once more. Uh, it's not all to waste uh, because, as it turns out, the 5W30 oil that I will be taking back out of this car is actually an oil that will be suitable for my um, Renault Kangoo van. So I will be putting that in at some point when I come round to uh, getting the servicing done on that. So we'll crack on then guys. Let's, uh, let's get this job done. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything will go smoothly. So before we begin doing this, education lesson. What do the numbers of oil grades actually refer to? What do they mean? So there is quite a, a wide scale of these. There's all sorts of different types. So in, in this particular instance, what's currently in the sump at the minute is 530. That's considered a low grade and a much thinner viscosity or a thinner um, lubricant of oil. The, the stuff that's going to be going into this sump, once this is all decanted out, is of a higher grade and, and that's considered a uh, thicker lubrication and uh, thicker viscosity. So what are the pros and cons of both and why should the thicker oil in this instance be going into the 2A engine? So the thinner oils, the, pro the positives of having those are that when the engine is uh, being started up it can get round all the various engine components a lot faster, a lot easier, because it's a, a thinner viscosity. So it will get round and start making protection of those vital components within your engine a lot faster. The uh, 
once it's actually gotten up to temperature as well because of its thinness it will continue to cycle round a lot faster. The downside of having that particular type of engine oil is that because it's a thinner viscosity it actually offers less protection to those vital components particularly when the engine is getting up to temperature. And then you've got the other side of the scale so the oil that's going to be going into this engine the 2050 is considered a much thicker oil a thicker viscosity the downside of having that particular type of oil is that because it's thicker when you're trying to do that initial startup cycle and then when the engine is still fairly cold the oil can get round uh, it's a lot harder to get round those component parts because it's thicker it's a lot harder to get round all the various channels and start offering that protection the positive part of that though is that when the engine has gotten up to temperature um, and I'm conscious I've been told a number of times that this particular 2A engine does get very very hot and of course it has been well documented already on this channel that I've had numerous problems with water pouring out of various parts of this car um, when it does get up to a hotter temperature where the thinner oil would be offering less protection because it's a lot thinner the thicker grade oils will continue to offer maximum protection to those vital component parts. And of course, you've got so much metal moving around. Any, any damage of any sort with having the wrong oil grade is definitely not going to be a good thing. And I certainly don't want to be having this happen to this particular car. So I'm not surprised um, why so many people were getting in touch with me and telling me that I needed to get this stuff out. So quite important that we do what we can to get it out as quick as possible and get the good stuff in. Hopefully I won't drop the plug into the bowl this time. And out she comes. And I managed to rescue it this time. Right, I'll let that drain out. Once that's done, we need to get the oil filter back off if I can get it off. It's still a good colour. This will be spot on for the Kangoo van. There we go. Again, don't want to over tighten. Beautiful. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get this off. Oh. Oh. I don't want to use my oil filter spanner because I don't want to damage it. Oh. Got properly sealed on that is. Oh. 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 I ain't moving. I don't really want to use this because I certainly do not want to cut into it. Whatever you do, Bailey, don't damage it. Right. Yes. Okay, here we go. Storm's coming right, this week. Liquid gold. So before we proceed to putting the oil in, just be absolutely 100% sure that everything is nipped up tight. Including the sun plug. <sighs> yeah. Spot on. noticeably thicker this oil you can see it 
how much longer it's taking to go down the funnel. Yeah, it's just on the minimum level now. I'm going to give it a start. Let it get round a little bit and then we'll top it off one final time. Start. Yeah, it's obviously dropped. Somebody's told me that apparently on the left hand drive models of the Capri, the windscreen washer bottle is on the opposite side, which would be true because it'd be here where the presumably where the brake servo would be with the steering wheel and pedals being on the opposite side. And he said that. Uh, there is no such problem with the uh, dipstick fouling on it, anything. So it just seems to be that this is a problem with right hand drive models. Stupid design. Bang on. Awesome. Right then guys, okay, job done then, all sorted. Capri's back on the ground and we're oil's in, no leaks, so uh, happy days. Great result, couldn't really gone any better. Okay, so just want to say before we wrap up, um, a massive thanks of course to everybody that got in touch with me to let me know about the oil that needed swapping over. Um, greatly appreciated. Um, so yeah, really pleased that uh, you guys all got in touch. So thank you very much for all your support on that one. And then if uh, just to finally to say, if you like the video, then please give it a, a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down, any comments you want to put forward to be grand. And if you want to continue supporting the channel, then just hit the subscribe button at the end of the video. Um, I've uh, I found out uh, earlier on this morning uh, that my channel has now hit the 200 subscriber mark. So just as ever, I want to say a huge thanks to everybody that has been involved with supporting, uh, supporting the channel, supporting me and Reggie. Uh, it's absolutely overwhelming. So a massive shout out to everybody that's watched a video commented on a video liked a video disliked a video and of course everyone that's subscribed it's all the support and all the help is always appreciated um so yeah massive thanks to everybody involved for that right okay i'm gonna uh go and get some shut eye now i've uh, i've not been to bed since my night shift last night seem to be having a regular pattern of this and i've got nights tonight so i'm gonna go and get some sleep hopefully and i'll have uh, a decent rest Right, okay, until next time guys, thank you very much for tuning in as ever, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care yourselves, see you later, cheers, bye bye. So I'm going to stand out the wind. The wind's really picking up. It's meant to be a couple of storms this week, so we'll probably see some fence panels blowing down the road. Hopefully, it won't be any of ours. <laughs>